Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to view hidden files and folders on your macOS device. Following this process will allow you to view these hidden files and folders within the Finder application on your Mac and it allows you to then access and locate and edit these files as well. It's a pretty simple process but it's really helpful especially if you're a developer and you need to be able to see files that have been hidden within the operating system or files that you have hidden yourself that might be different bits of code and things like that just to make the application run correctly. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so this is a pretty simple process today. So uh, to demonstrate how it works, what I'm going to do is go and open up Finder here. And then I'm going to locate a folder or a volume that has some hidden files already in there. So what I'm going to do to do this process is I'm going to click the Go up in the menu bar. And then I'm going to click Go to Folder. And then I'm going to put slash volumes and click Enter. And then I'm going to open up my drive. Now you can see here that I've opened up the SSD, the internal SSD of this Mac Mini, and you can see there's four folders. However, there are some uh, hidden files and folders here that you can't see by default. So I'm going to demonstrate how to view these today. So all you need to do to view these files is click Command, Shift, and Full Stop. So you click those all at once, and you can see that by doing that, I've just opened up a whole heap of hidden files in, within this computer. So you can see that the hidden files come up sort of as like grayed out sort of faded icons, um, but you can still access them. So you can open um, some of these files. Some of them might have anything in them, but some of them do um, has, have some stuff, um, which is really handy in sort of um, allowing you to um, view things that might be um, hidden by default. It sort of um, helps you. This is more of a developer tool. Um, but it can help um, with things like that because developers will often hide things like what Apple has done here so that the users can't accidentally mess it up or just so that the app runs a bit better. So you can see that there um, and depending on what view I choose, you can see that um, yeah, the ones that are hidden by default are the ones uh, that are sort of greyed out here. Um, and to hide these files again, I can click Command, Shift, Full Stop once again, and it will remove them. So you can see, clicking that um, command hides and shows the uh, hidden files and folders. Now, you can also, um, as you're browsing through um, the different things, um, you can go through and you'll see that um, there's always different... Um, files and folders, but it may get hidden depending on uh, where you're going through. So if you click it once, it'll always generally show your hidden files or folders, but sometimes it turns itself off. So you may need to click it just to confirm whether they are or are not any hidden files or folders. So just remember, Command, Shift, Full Stop, hides and shows those folders. So as you're browsing, it should keep showing hidden files and folders, but in my experience, sometimes it starts to hide it, potentially after a reboot and things like that. So um, if you remember that command, you'll be able to show them each time. So yeah, that's all there is to showing the hidden files and folders on your macOS device. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in getting these files to show up within Finder. And let me know in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. So I'll just rehide these again so that um, it looks neater here. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all have a happy Easter and really enjoy spending some quality time with your friends and family over this Easter long weekend. And I'll see you all in the next video.